Police on the Auraria campus report an increase in the homeless population on the campus this semester. Its proximity to downtown and the light rail make the campus an easy stop for trespassers. Troy Mason is live on the campus and Troy, you spoke to the police chief today about some of the calls his department has been getting from students. Yes, and for students who aren't used to living in the city, the number of people experiencing homelessness here can be shocking. Now, the chief isn't sure why there's an increase this semester, but he says the number of calls he's gotten from students are more about concern. They usually hang out kind of at the like alleyways where kids aren't. Students also say they've seen more homeless people seeking shelter in the library and student union. We usually have to ask them to leave, um, but they're really cooperative. Campus police says most of the student calls they've responded to regarding the homeless are out of compassion, not complaint. Especially if it's cold, it would be nice to just let them stay. Sometimes it's welfare checks for people who appear to be sleeping or injured. Sometimes it's trespassing calls. The chief says it's compassion that brings them to this alley behind the church on campus every day. They'll eat out here in the sun, they'll sit along the wall. The chief says most people are just waiting in line for daily lunch offered by the church. I mean, I know there's also like a pretty large population of the students that are homeless. Campus police patrols for those who overstay, but if they're not causing a disturbance, Police try to show the same amount of empathy as students. We try to offer them rides to shelters. Uh, we've given them blankets. We offer them other kinds of resources. We don't want anybody freezing to death on campus or anything else. We want to try to be as compassionate as we can. Now, the chief also acknowledged that the homeless population has brought some health problems to campus. That's the biggest concern with them being here. But he also says that jail isn't a solution to rehabilitation and they deserve to be treated like people. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first.